Hey, what's going on guys? Feature Artist is back, and I'm here with another tutorial, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to, how I sync Black Ops 3 Sniping Clubs. Uh, this will be a tutorial on timing mapping, but I will make another one on Twixter and probably on Trick Shots another time. Uh, this is going to be a three-part tutorial series because this one is going to be the syncing, the second one is going to be the pan and crop, and the third one is going to be a color correcting tutorial where I'll make a green tutorial like in the little eight second clip I'm about to show you guys of this edit. Party people know the name, Vic with a K, if it's all the same. If it ain't, don't bother. Alright, anyway, so I'm going to show you guys first how I sync that clip. So first what you do when you want to sync anything is first go into the music audio waveforms. And then how you do that is just click this little triangle right here where it'll open up audio and you open that up and then go into waveform. And this isn't really necessary, but I use it a lot to uh, help me find where the beats are. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is finding the beats where we, we can make as a sync point and just leaving a marker there. And how you leave a marker is by clicking control A. Uh, that is on Mac. I'm not sure what it is on Windows, but I'm guessing it's probably Command or something. Eight. You can just. I'll just leave it in the description, or I'll put it in the video once I find out what it is. But anyways, let's get to it by finding a few sync points. I'm gonna play the song real quick, and we'll see as it plays. The time indicator will move, and whenever we hear a beat, we can stop it right there and leave a marker. So let's go ahead. Alright, so the first beat is right here. I'm going to click on it and then zoom in a little bit to see where the beat exactly is, just in case I'm not a few frames off. And I'll leave a little marker, and I'll keep continuing this process until I have a good amount of uh, sync points done. Alright, so I'm just going to skip the video to where I find all the sync points I need. Alright, so sometimes you might not have many beats in the audio, and it might be replaced by um, the vocals. Like, for example, in this song right around here, there's a few seconds where there's, like, no beat, but with the pattern it was going at, it seemed like there should have been a beat there, but it was vocals there, and we can just treat that as a beat and leave a marker there and use it as a sync point, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Like, for example, here. Right over here when he says if it's all the same, I'll just leave a few mark. I left a few markers there because I'm going to treat that as a beat. But yeah, after you get a good amount of them and I got enough for this quick little clip, what you're going to do is go over to your click, right click on it, go up to where it says time, enable time remapping. And what you're going to do here is find points where you can start syncing. So the first point obviously is going to be the shot. And what I'm going to do is... Click the little thing right here, and it's going to leave a little keyframe. And the second point I get is when the sniper pulls back the crank or whatever it's called. But yet, yeah, right about here, when he is right about to pull it, I put another keyframe. And I skip it to uh, where he pulls it back in. And, but yeah, I'm just going to go and skip to where I did just about every single sync point, and then I'll be back. After I get all the sync points, what I'm going to do is start splitting the clip on the shots, and I'll explain later why. But anyways, how you can split the clip is just by going up, click on edit, go down to split layer, and it'll split the clip for you. I'm just going to go and split every single sync point where it's a shot. Now what you do after this is align the shots to beats where you want them to. So the first one is obviously going to be on the first beat. The first shot's going to be on the first beat. And actually, this looks like it's almost perfectly aligned. Wow, nice. But anyways, I'm just going to pull this back one. And then next what I'm going to do is do that to all the other clips. Alright, so as you guys can see, I've got a lot of the clip just like laying underneath the layer that's why I wanted to split that because there's sometimes where I don't want the whole clip because like for example on this clip right here is just zooming in for a while and I didn't want all that so I would just skip ahead right to the shot but what you do after getting all the shots done is syncing the points where sniper is pulling back the crank and putting it back in what I'm gonna do is place another keyframe here and then place one right when he shoots as well so when we go into the graph editor it's not really messed up so like I said I'm leaving a keyframe on every single beat because I will sync it to all those beats regardless if there's something happening like for example the sniper being shot or the sniper pulling back the crank alright so I've synced every single sync point to a beat and now what we're gonna do next is go into all the sync points after he shoots, like not the ones here because I don't really want to edit the velocity here, but what we're going to do is open up and hold all the keyframes here, right click, 
go to keyframe assistant and easy ease and what we're going to do is change the velocity of the keyframes in the graph editor so I'm going to quickly do this to every single keyframe and then we can go to the next step alright so now that I've got every single keyframe easy eased well at least the ones I need the ones that are underneath another layer aren't necessary so I just left those as is what I'm going to do is select the first keyframe open up the graph editor by clicking this right here and then zooming in and what you're going to see is a few curvy lines what you're going to do is get the first keyframe and get the line that's the right side of it and pull it up a little bit not too much because if you get it too much it'll have some frame rate lag but not too little or the velocity will be too weak and then I'm gonna get the second keyframe and put the line on the left and curve it down a bit and then repeat this process for every single keyframe that is a sync point I'm gonna show you before I get to the rest of them I'll just show you how much of a difference it is this part of the clip is has been modified within the graph editor and the rest hasn't so I'm just going to quickly play it and show you guys how different it is alright as you guys could see the first shot right here was sync and it had a strong velocity on every single sync point but the rest weren't so I'm going to quickly go and mess with the curves of the rest of the keyframes off camera real quick alright so I've got it all done and I'm going to show you how it all looks in the graph editor. I'm going to quickly show you guys. I'm going to zoom in and show you once again how it looks. It's not too curved up and too down, but it's the right amount. <clears throat> but if there is an instance where the clip is lagging a little bit, all you have to do is, like I said, pull back on the lines right here. Don't make them as strong. And, yeah, let me play this real quick so you guys can see. Yeah, alright guys, this thing seems to be pretty good. So yeah guys, hope you all learned a thing or two from this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this did help you out. And I will be making two more tutorials within the series, like I said. The next one is going to be over the screen pumps, and the one after that is going to be the greeny color correcting tutorial. But yeah, see ya.